Hey, guess what? That's right, we're back at the ADOS or ADES of the ADOS Virginia. <laughs> if we left the New York one, because I'm in Virginia and pretty soon we're going to be in a. Hey, look, and look what I brought from New York. I made a smoothie before I left, you know what I mean? And I carried it all the way from New York. Boy, some stuff in this smoothie. I think there's even prune juice in the smoothie. I forget which one it is. Let me see if I think it's thick. This is more like a meal, a meal smoothie. So, I'll do that. Anyway, very helpful. It's got a lot of stuff in there. It's weird stuff. I, you know, I wore my regular stuff and whatever. Okay. So, anyway. Smell the prunes though. Mm. Okay, anyway, before I left, uh, I saw something. Um, I'm do politics today. I'll be a bunch. I'm doing news today. A bunch of stuff. First of all, uh, they had this. Uh, seemed like Andrew. There was some survey sent out or something sent out to all the candidates, and Andrew Yang right away answered his stuff. It was on about foreign policy. Is that's the, that's the thing. And so, because you know the Yang Gang, I'm, I'm not part of the Yang Gang. I just monitor them, whatever. Because you know, my choice, um, right? Now, my choice was, you know, as far as um, no, but this is the primary season. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to get on and say, I want to win. I want this person win. You want to make a choice, and you keep on adjusting as things go on. You know. So right now, uh, my my choice for president is uh, Tulsi Gabbard, and vice president is Andrew Yang. He said, What about Bernie? What about blah blah blah. Come on, those are polls. It's all right. If Bernie's going to get it, he's going to get it. What I'm trying to do is get policy in place. So the people who are articulating policy that I want, that's what I push. So that when things, when they get closer and closer, they say, hey, wait a second. You know, Tulsa Gap is policy, man. they got a lot of people in policy. Yeah, Bernie, you got to take the policy. You know what I'm saying? The plank, the whatever. You'll, you'll figure it out. Anyway, so Yang, so, so Andrew Yang gets this thing. Well, foreign policy, just well, you know, foreign policy. He was disastrous, disastrous. It's almost like whoever's on his team, he need to get. They need to do some more research because all they do is the headline thing. You know, Russia this and, and Venezuela that and, and Africa and the Middle East. And, 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 it was terrible. Okay, I'll let you you figure it out, right? Let us leave him alone. So he, he dropped down for vice president to I put him in the cabinet on education or something. You know, some domestic thing, right? Okay. Oh. Speaking about Tulsa Gabbard, brilliant. This is why I love Tulsa Gabbard so much. I just love, I mean, I got to, I think when I get to St. Louis, I'm someplace, maybe, maybe back to, I'm someplace, I'm gonna just jump on this campaign and just help all I can. Um, check this out. You know how the media, they, they've been trying to dump on her, whatever it is, smear, whatever it is, right? And so what happens? She gets deployed for like two weeks. So they can't dump on her. What are they gonna say? Oh, she's serving the country? Why is she on a campaign? She's serving the country? They can't do that. It's brilliant, but not only that. So her presence now, but she has to stay in the country. So her presence now is the only thing you can see is if you're on YouTube, especially because I'm only on YouTube, I don't do the other stuff. I don't know what else is happening out there. You, she has a little, you know, her little spots, her little ass all over YouTube. So her presence is on YouTube overwhelmingly, you see? So while they're up there talking and debating and eating corn dogs, whatever they're eating, you know, she, 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 you know, in Indonesia, whatever, doing what they do, you know, doing America's bidding. We're going to get to that, but you see, so it's absolutely, I love strategy and tactics. Okay, you say, I'm just a little bit, whatever, because, you know, I was a medic in the service, and, you know, maybe I got to, da, 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 da. In fact, I just came from the VA, well, that's another time, you know. Anyway, so, no sooner did I hit, uh, you know, I hit Virginia on check-in, you know, I had uh, you know, the whole thing with Uber and stuff like this, terrible thing. Anyway, so I'm checking my thing, and, um, and you know, Jay-Z, not Jay-Z, well, yeah, Jay-Z, you know, Jay-Z is with the Goodell, you know, with the whole NFL thing, you know. <laughs> so I check out Tariq, <laughs> Tariq Radio. He did this brilliant, well, you know, first of all, I guess, um, yeah, Antonio Moore is gonna do something. I'll, I'll check out his thing. But you know, Antonio, Antonio, you know, this is you know, da da da. I can wait. But Tariq was so funny because he calls out Jay Z, and when he's talking on, on the radio, I'm sorry, because it's funny to me. So what he does, he plays 
uh, Jay Z's answer when 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 Charlemagne the God asks him some questions about whatever about the Kaepernick or whatever it is, and Jay Z gives this like this this mumbling, stumbling, stammering answer, right? He starts playing banjo music under the answer. Plus, remember. Tariq's out there in California, so they get the conscience of Rodney King. So then he, he compares Rodney King to JCC's, Jay-Z's answer, and it's like the same. You know, can we all just get along? Oh, well. And plus, wait, say one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. <laughs> he called JC a mascot. <laughs> a mascot. You know, Jay-Z. Jay-Z. No, you're not a businessman. I know you think you're a businessman. You're a pusher. You've always been a pusher. Don't get me wrong. You're bring, I guess you're a brave musician. I don't really follow the music anymore. Wait, we get that. Anyway, I guess you're a brave musician. Everybody say you are. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. They kept you. They kept you in our faces for a long, for a long time. You, you've been in our faces longer than the Barack Obama family. You know what I mean? So they got you. I understand, right? But this is not your belly. But aren't you? Like, not, no. I don't believe in this whole school thing because the universe is your school. But, you know, yo, man, you understand? They got you. You, you know, you're just a mascot just like just like Barack Obama. Barack, in fact, you're the same man. You're the mascot for the NFL. And guess what? They, there's going to be an NBA league in Africa, and he's the mascot for the, NF, for, the, for the NBA league in Africa. You're both mascots. You understand? You've always been a mascot. Come on. That's not true. You see what I'm saying? And here's the other funny thing. You know, and what happens with mascots? They corrupt you completely. I'm, I feel so. I was with Loretta Dumont, and she was talking about, did you, did you read Michelle Obama's book? I said, no, and I probably won't. You know what I mean? Because I don't know. Whatever she's saying, she ain't getting to the no heart of the matter. She, she, unless she, she the one brought, brought the mascot, Brock, to our attention. So she's just an agent. She's like an agent agent, you know what I mean? And the children, I don't know, let me leave the young one, Sasha, the young one, let me leave the young one alone. But what, what's the what's the old one doing? Kissing all white boys, you know what I mean? Hey, they're mascots, you all are mascots. You let me move the reason I got this picture because we're in the South. And you know how we used uh, generations ago, you know, people used to have the king and queen of England and Jesus in their houses, and then it changed for civil rights, then it changed, then they had like then you had uh no wait for yeah, then you had JFK in the house, in, in the in the mantle. Then you had JFK and uh, and and Martin Luther King on your mantle, right? And Jesus always been there. And now they replaced every. I don't know if they have uh, Martin Luther King anymore, but they put that now with with Barack Obama. Always they throw these mascots in our face, and we supposed to respond to oh Jesus man. I'm sorry. One more thing. When I come down on the bus, lady started thing. Uh, can I pray? I, can, can I pray for? Her? I said no. He yelled out, no. Of course, she just keeps on going. And so it's praying that the bus, blah, blah, in the name of Jesus. And then she, when she said, amen, I said, amen, Ra. Because <laughs> here's the thing. First of all, if you're a true Christian, you're supposed to pray in your closet. Two, you know, if, if you ask permission and I say, and somebody says no, then the answer is no. Don't do it. Right? And three, you're not really praying. You're trying to petition God. You know, you you use the English words to say, keep us safe. Just petitioning God. If God loves you and we all love then you anyway. Let me just stop right there. That's it for me. T mm. From the Patterson's letting you know what I only suspect. From A Des the the uh, you know, Virginia Des of the A D O S. That would be American descendants of chattel slavery. Thank <laughs> you.